Angels are supernatural beings, and they play a significant role in our lives. If the veil could only be pulled out slightly, so that you can see the unseen world, or the spiritual world, and see the wars that these angels wage on your behalf, you could appreciate their presence. Having said that, we as believers are not to focus on angels, but on Jesus Christ, who sends and dispatches these beings on our behalf. They are also called Mighty Ones, in Psalm 29 verse 1. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. And they are called Heavenly Beings, according to Psalm 89 verse 6, Amplified Version, and Psalm 89 verse 5 refers to them as the Holy Ones. And the heaven shall praise thy wonders, O Jehovah, thy faithfulness also in the assembly of the Holy Ones. Angels serve as members of God's eternal court. Angels made an appearance at the beginning of the Bible in Genesis 3 verse 24 and at the end of the Bible in Revelation 22 verse 6. Genesis 3 verse 24 says, so he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Cherubim are angelic beings who serve the will of God, performing divine duties in the earthly realm, and their initial responsibility was to protect the Garden of Eden and guard the tree of knowledge. As the chosen congregation journeyed to the Promised Land, God told them that His angel will go before them in the following verses. Exodus 23 verses 20 to 23 Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee, and bring thee in unto the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Notice that the angel being spoken about here is the same as the angel of the Lord in Exodus 3 verse 2, where the angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in the midst of a burning bush. The angel of the Lord is also referred to as the angel of God, as in Exodus 14 verse 19. And in both cases, the reference is to Jesus Christ, the messenger of the Lord, God the Father. Let us consider that it was Jesus who accompanied this chosen nation on their journey through the wilderness. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 4 And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ we see that it was Christ, the messenger of God, the Father, who led the Israelites. We see here that there are crucial times and moments that the angel of the Lord can appear as Christ, the messenger of God, in our lives. Whether you realize it or not, angels are watching over you at this very moment. God has appointed guardian angels to protect and aid us in our time of need. There is an angel for everyone. When a child is born, God sends an angel to look after that baby. Matthew 18 verse 10 says, Take heed that you despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Jesus taught on this biblical truth that all people were created in the image of God 
and have intrinsic value and dignity, whether young or old. He taught that people were the same before God, young Christians or veteran Christians, more so young children, they were not to be despised just because they are young. This angel which was sent to look over you as a baby still watches you right now. This is why it is important to remain in Christ. Psalm 91 verse 11 says, For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. Angels are at the command of the Lord. They are ministering spirits to his people, who encamp about us and are concerned in the preservation of us. They, angels, being committed to care for God's people and charged by him, who is the Lord of heaven and earth. God shall give his angels charge over you. He will give command to his angels. God will instruct them and appoint them for the purpose of ensuring your safety and protection as a child of God. In other words, your every movement is being watched. Extra care is given to the apple of God's eye, which is you and me. Now I want you to listen to this following exciting narrative about angels. You will agree with me that it's too good, but it is true. Zechariah 1 verse 8 I saw by night, and behold a man riding upon a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him were bred horses, speckled and white. Then said I, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show you what they are. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are the ones whom the Lord hath sent to walk to and fro throughout the earth. And they answered, The angel of the Lord who stood among the myrtle trees, and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth resting quietly. This is a narrative of horses and their riders, who are clearly angels, who were sent throughout the earth and to report on the current general conditions. Not only do angels watch over you, they also report back to a higher angel. There is an unseen motorcade of God that runs throughout the earth. They go up and down, to and fro, watching over God's people. You think you are just driving alone? Or maybe it's just the two of you? No, you have company, child of God. The horsemen and chariots men of the host of heaven have this tendency of going before us. This is why the Bible says, When the righteous spoke, God heard, and he listened, according to Malachi 3 verse 16. As a believer, know that you are always before God. This is why, as children of God, it is very important that we commit our day before the Lord in prayer and that we surrender the night into the capable hands of God. By so doing, we will be asking God to lead and protect us through his angels whom he has assigned to us. Psalms 103 says, When we pray, the angels of the Lord excel in strength to do what they have been commanded to do, heeding the voice of God. Acts 12 verse 7 And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. God can send his angels to rescue us, like what he did with Peter, who was facing execution. God delivered him through his angel. Believe what you want to believe. Angels are real. May you be strengthened through your prayers to God. What are the things the angels in your house will do for you and your family? 1. They will always be around you to deliver you and your family. Psalm 34 verse 7 The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him 
and delivereth them. Some accidents happen at home that can kill. There are little mistakes that can cause huge havoc that should have happened, but in a way that you don't understand. They did not go beyond what you can control. It is not nature. It is the works of the angels sent by God to be in your house. There was a fault in the electrical work of a Christian man's house. He checked it and believed it should be something he can fix. He tried and fixed it, but unknowingly, he had made a wrong connection that could cause a fire outbreak. He went to the changeover switch to put on the light. As he tried to change it, nothing worked. The light did not come on. He had no choice but to call a company to check it. After checking, they went to the man and asked, how did it happen that this house is not on fire by now? The man was confused. They explained to him what ought to happen. This man may not have seen an angel stopping the damage that should have happened physically, but there are angels in the house protecting the occupants. Sometimes you forget to turn off the oven and nothing much happens. Second, they guard you. Exodus 23 verse 20 Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. There is an evil in the world right now. Everywhere you turn to, bad things are happening there. God promised he will send his angels to guard us. It doesn't matter where we travel to. They will always follow us because they are there to guard us. The Lord has been doing good to us, providing us all we wanted. He is still giving us protection. When we are surrounded by evil, the Lord will send his angels to guard us and take us to safety. That is what we enjoy as Christians. Whenever we are in need, God can also use anybody as your angel to help you or provide your needs. These people that God will use as angels might be the people we know. They might be our relatives. But this is God using them for us. They are using our angels that can be seen, while the ones that can't be seen are right there keeping all of us safe. If there is anything you should thank God for, thank Him for His angels. Remember, there is an angel in your house.